All right, what's going on? Starting to roll out some film breakdowns. I want to focus this week on guys I saw from the Senior Bowl since we're coming off the week of the Senior Bowl and, and guys that impressed me. So we'll start it out with this guy. Wide receiver from Clemson, Amari Rogers, man. And, and I really fell in love with him on day three. You know, I, I noticed him throughout the first couple of days, but day three, I fell in love with him. I mean, he was killing one-on-ones. Good team period. And then in the Senior Bowl, he had, uh, I think he had the most catches for... Uh, the um the American team had four catches and and, and a touchdown as well, um, so like I said, he's out of Clemson. He weighed in at the Senior Bowl at five foot nine, so he is short, but he's two hundred eleven pounds. Like that's a big frame for a guy that's five foot nine, a six foot one wingspan. He is a true slot receiver, and, and that makes sense with uh with his size. Last season, uh, his senior year at Clemson, seventy seven catches, a thousand twenty yards, seven touchdowns, thirteen point two yards per catch. The junior year, 30 catches, 426 yards, four touchdowns, 14.2 yards per catch. And then obviously uh, did some stuff his so- sophomore year. His sophomore year is actually a little better. 55 catches, 575 yards, four touchdowns, 10.5 yards per catch. So the yards per catch went down. He's actually T. Martin's son too out of Tennessee. So what do I think about this guy? Like I said, he is a true slot wide receiver. Um, the height stinks, but he's, he's got good weight with it. Um, and he's, he's what well, you'll see in this, he's good at setting up DBs. He's good at setting up DBs. He wins with his route running um, because he doesn't have that burner speed, which, you know, five foot nine and not burner speed isn't the greatest a combo. But you can see it like he wins with his route running. And I think that's why, you know, I think his seat, his speed and size is why he's projected a little later. Like uh, the draft network have him, has him as a 22nd wide receiver. Um, I probably will end up at the end of the day a little higher than that because I just like this guy, regardless of that stuff. Um, and he's, he's a great at catching the ball. I mean, I will show one drop, but he plucks, like he plucks the ball out of the air. He doesn't catch it with his body. Uh, always gets it at the, at the right point. He, he tracks the ball well. Um, and, uh, and he's got some good yak ability with, with cut and go. So let's roll with it for the Wake Forest film. I've got the arrow. So play one. He's got a crosser. It's crossing over here. Bam. Beautiful catch. I mean, beautiful catch. Now, like you said, not the greatest of speed. You would like when this guy traveling, when he's, when he's, you know, when he's chasing at this point to be able to separate a little more, especially when you're playing his Wake Forest. But bam, I mean, just great chemistry with Lawrence on here. I mean, Lawrence puts a great ball on him too. But I mean, that's, that's a perfect catch over the shoulder, tracks the ball, catches with his hands. And that's and there and then you get yourself a big play. This was the one drop uh, I saw of him while watching his film. Now this isn't great ball placement from Lawrence, you know, because you have you know, twenty yards of separation to make this a little easier, where he's not in the tiptoe in the end zone. But regardless, you got to make that catch. I, I won't focus on the route running because this is more just scheme. But I mean, you got to make that catch, especially when you only need one hand or one foot in college. But he's got the goalpost there. You can tell he's kind of focusing on that. But this wasn't an issue for him, so I don't, I don't want to dwell on it. You got him down here at the bottom of the screen. This is what I this is what I love the most out of Amari Rogers. Is are these type of routes. Now I know he's on the outside a little bit, but bam, he's he, so he shows in quick. I mean, turns that DB around, turn sets that DB up and turns him around. I mean, the DB's already playing off. That DB's hips are flipped. Bam. I and mean, you got yourself a cushion. Gets back to the ball. Good catch. I mean, I, those are the type of routes I love because those translate to the next. Those translate to the next the next level in the NFL. Just wham bam. Here, we got a dig. This is something I, I would like him to work do be better on his route running. Now he's wide open on this one. But you see how he rounds this dig route out a little bit? Like his cut starts right here, and he's rounding it out around four, like three, four yards. Now he's he's wide. He's you know the guy's wide open, and he's looking for the ball, and it's Lawrence is you know is scrambling. But you'll see against Ohio State that there's a very similar route. Where I, I always remember Torrey Holt when he talked about his dig routes, he wouldn't only just make nice cuts; he would come back to the ball. So if he was cutting here, he would end up like here in his route. I've, that's always stuck with me of, of Torrey Holt doing that with his route running. Um, 
here. He's got a slant route. I think this may be an option. Because you see him. Because he's got separation on this. So he does like he's got cushion on this. So he doesn't need a juke. I think this is an option route because these linebackers, I mean, they vacate the middle of the field. They vacate the middle of the field on this. So he sets up with a juke. Good slant. Bam, gets some yak after it too. We got him down here for this play. Just a flood concept. This is a scheme. Good catch. I wanted to show it though. That That's more scheme related. So now we have the, uh, the Ohio State game. We got him right here. I don't have the aerials for the Ohio State. This one is, is a, similar to the beginning of that other one. It's just coming across the field where it's different. This is where he shows off his feel for zone. Got him right here. And he's got this defender right here and this defender here. And he's got to find that hole in there. Can't He can't, can't totally sit on it and let this linebacker come on it. Lawrence finds him. Takes a big hit, too, and is able to hold on to that. Is able to hold on to that. This next one, we've got him down here. This is the dig route I was talking about where I think he rounds it out a little too much. because he's, he's got against press in this one. So you see he's got press with this corner. Maybe not even press, just, you know, you know bump and run. So the route's being broken right here. I mean, he's, I mean, the guy's trailing too. And look how it gets round, rounded out. It, it allows the corner to get into this play. Gets rounded out at, at three yards. And allows the corner get to get in this play. What I was talking about with Torrey Holt, where Torrey Holt would do is, are you not only are you breaking here, but you're coming down here. You're coming back to the ball on this. Here, we got him. Right here, just running mesh. Good feel for zone on this. You got this linebacker here. Good feel, like I said, good feel for the zone. He's got the hole. He's open. Ball gets tipped at the line of scrimmage. Like I said, good feel for zone though. See, you see, you know he's bailing out here. You have this guy playing right here. And he's, he, he starts to move towards 17. All right, just sit on it. And he's wide open. The ball just doesn't get to him. Um, here we got him on a smoke screen. Which is basically just a bubble. Good yak though on this one. Good yak. And you know what? You can say, oh, you know, these guys in the NFL. But this is Ohio State. This is Ohio State. And he breaks down this guy. Doesn't just beat him with speed. Gives him that little cut inside. Bam. Plays through it, 211 pounds. So, instead of getting, you know, maybe doesn't get totally tackled right here by seven, but gets caught up. And this ends up being, you know, so let's say he gets here. Less than seeing a first down and, you know, 12 yards worth of yak. Just seeing a first down and 12 yards worth of yak. Here, again, this great running where he shows in. Bam, bow. I mean, just beautiful. Again. You can say the last one's against Wake Forest. This is normal of, you know, NFL, you know, playing off, depending on, you know, what your team is. Shows in. You see, he's looking in. Opens his hips. The corner opens his hips. As soon as that corner opens his hips, bam, he's popping out. I mean, that's, that's a great route ran right there. That's a great route ran right there. But the ball doesn't come to him on this one. And rightfully so. Lawrence finds somebody that's open. Um, here, what do we got on this one? Oh, I love this route. Here, we got him down right here. This is a chain moving type route. This is where he's going to make his bread and butter and make his money in the NFL. Just, you see, give this linebacker this nod. Forces this guy to kind of keep it keep in his zone instead of just you know so he just runs like a slant or an in right here and this and this linebacker just attacks it full throttle. This nod and the ball I mean the ball is coming out of Lawrence's hand at this point while he's doing the nod, while he's doing that little that juke emotion. Catches that ball, nice catch too. Not the not a perfectly placed ball. 
Like I said, that's a chain moving play in the NFL. That's a chain moving play in the NFL. Here, these next three plays, he's got um, some press man coverage. So this is where you see he, he does an all right job against, but he just doesn't have that burner speed. You know? Sorry if I didn't show. We got him down here. This man coverage. So he beats it. He gets off the line quick, you know. Doesn't get, you know, doesn't get stuck at the line of scrimmage juking or anything. Bam, go. So he's got, you know, in the NFL, that's all right. But in college, you would like to see him get more separation than that. You know, like in the NFL, you know, that ball might get thrown your way. But you, you want more separation than that. We got him here again, again with man coverage. He's going to come across the middle of the field. So, like he wins this route. You know, Lawrence puts say you know Lawrence puts this ball right here. He's he may end up getting a touchdown grab on this, but this is where you see like him not having that burner speed shows up. A little juke at the line of scrimmage here too. This next one he totally wins. You got him right here. Like this one, he's got separation. I mean, there's there's a lot of space. This one should be, but then he breaks. He turns it into an in. You know, he's, he's just running the play, obviously. But, so, you know, he takes outside leverage on it. So, again. But that's that's a that's great get off of the line of scrimmage and good separation right there. And then, uh, next play. I mean, this, this, this throw is beautiful right here. Or this catch is beautiful. Just to come back to that. And catch that ball. I mean, look where look where the ball is when he's breaking his route. But the other snag that ball. That's good. You'll see it from the other view. That's a great grab right there. Catches it with his hands. Protects it. So he's got awesome hands. Like he he catches everything. And he catches it away from his like his body. He does a good job. I mean, you see it in the, you saw it in the Senior Bowl his touchdown he had. Maybe I should have put that clip in here. Oh well. Um, and then this last this last play, like I said, he sets up his routes. He sets up his routes. He's got a drag route, but he just kills it with this juke. This juke makes it from, hey, you can get that ball in there to him on this drag to he's wide ass open. Sets it up with this juke. And almost shows that he's going to like go up or, or, or come back out on a whip route or something. Causes this DB to hesitate. Bam. Now he's, I mean, he's wide open on a drag route now. Wide open on a drag route because of that. Played in, in, in regular speed. Bam. Wide open. So... Amari Rogers, man, I like him. I, th I think I like him more than most. He really impressed me at the at, at Senior Bowl practices, um, and when he got his time to shine and his usage was used at, at Clemson, you know, they, he ended up with uh, you know seventy seven catches over a thousand yards um, in twelve games. So I like him. I like his yards per catch. I like his route running. Obviously, he doesn't have that burner speed. We'll see, you know, what his forty time ends up being at at the pro day, um, which which does matter. But I think. If he really works at his craft, he can find himself a nice role in the slot in the NFL. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff.